hello everybody it is um saturday december 18. uh it is now evening i think almost 8 p.m and um what did i do today well uh i went to the dog park with cora this morning but we didn't stay long because it was raining and there wasn't a lot of dogs um, that was at the park. So she didn't really find anybody to play with. So she was kind of like moody. And um, we got back, we probably stayed for like 30 minutes and then came back home, made some lunch and then I napped. And then um, I think I woke up probably maybe an hour afterwards. And then I was just kind of lounging around catching up on my shows i've been trying to um finish vampire diaries i know i know um i started it way way back then and then um i remember i used to watch it at work because i worked at a hospital in the evening shift and uh, we have a tv in the waiting area and i would always put it on and um I'm just a little bit nostalgic about the show and I never finished it. I've only seen season one, some of those episodes. Um, and then I just forgot about it. And I was browsing Netflix, I think about a month ago and I added it on my list cause I was like, oh yeah, let me finish watching this. And then um, because of that, um, Netflix was suggesting I should also watch Legacies and the originals which I know are kind of like part of or kind of like prequel and sequel or some something along, it's in the same kind of storyline for Vampire Diaries. So I started watching Legacies and they made some references and I'm like, wait, what? Um, and it was references about Vampire Diaries. So I was like, no, 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 I'm not gonna watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish Vampire Diaries first. So that's what I did today. I watched a few episodes. I'm now on season five. And then um, my husband and um, his brother is, his brother is actually in town and he's here for a week. They are doing um, a snowboarding, you know, extravaganza or something like that. They're planning to do, they just opened up um, the slopes so um i think they're planning to go every single day they bought a you know um a season's pass so they wanted to make sure um they use it so they are up there right now in the mountains um they're night boarding and um yeah so i just made some dinner i'm making um japanese curry uh beef japanese curry and also, I was like, you know what? It'll be nice if they come home with a treat. So I have been baking cookies. Um, and I've already <laughs> sampled a few. The coloring looks a little off um, because I ended up substituting um, the rest of the brown sugar that it required for a, um, a monk fruit brown sugar because um i just i ran out of brown sugar and sometimes when you start substituting sugar um when you're baking it doesn't the color or the texture starts changing the last time i baked some cookies um i substituted the whole like um portion of the sugar i use um the monk fruit sugar the white version and then the brown sugar um and it didn't come out as like the texture was off um the it wasn't as like crispy as i wanted them i like thin crispy cookies and this is it it's uh it's pretty thin and crunch it's a little bit um kind of doughy in the middle but that i think that's because of the texture um and then i'm just like enjoying being home by myself i'm re-watching high fidelity I love this show. Um, I have the book here, which I'm planning to read. It's on my uh, reading list, actually. Um, I want to get started on it. 
It's one of my favorite show. I also love the movie with John Cusack. Um, and yeah, I'm just like hanging out and uh, having, I just poured myself a nice drink. I'm having a vodka soda with, I put some like berries in there. And I'm just hanging out until the boys come back. And um, tomorrow, I don't really have any plans for tomorrow. I might do, I might go to Goodwill and do some thrifting. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll figure it out. And yeah, um, I'll see you in a little bit. Hello, everyone. I am on my way to Target. Um, I left the boys at home with Cora. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I could just have some time for myself. Um, yeah, oh, it's sunny. Um, yeah, I'm heading to Target to get some five um, pound weights. I think I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I bought a 10 pound weight um, about a month ago and I recently used it about two weeks ago. Uh, to do some arm workouts and it killed me. I can only even do like, I was only able to do like the first um, set. The second set, I was like struggling and I couldn't even complete or finish the whole thing because my arms were shaking. And then the f like next following days, my arms were so sore, I couldn't even stretch it. It was... <laughs> It was really bad um, but that's also because I don't work out my upper body a lot so I'm heading there now to get a lighter pound so I'm gonna do five pounds and then just like work my way up maybe I'll get an eight pound or two um, just to have we'll see how how much it costs too so that's what I'm doing and I'm thinking maybe passing through Ulta um, I'm not sure yet though. We'll see. I don't want to spend any money that I don't need to spend. I'm trying to save a little bit more. Um, especially like, you know, it's the holidays and I don't know. I just, I'm trying to be better at managing my money. Um, and actually one of my goals next year is to be better at managing my money and learning more about my finances so um yeah well i'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in a little bit hey everyone i just left target in the city and it is insane it is the week before christmas so um it's quite chaos in there uh, the parking lot was so backed up I just kind of went in and out <laughs> I could just grabbed a bunch of things or I just grabbed a few things that I needed so I got me some um, waxing strips um, and then my um, my dumbbells and I got out there as fast as I could and now I'm just heading back home I decided I'm not gonna go to Ulta because um, I guess just, I don't know, I don't need anything from there at the moment. Nothing that I need or nothing that I cannot live without. You know what I mean? It's like I will survive if I don't get my eyebrow um, brush and eyebrow uh, pen. So, um, plus I don't even wear tons of makeup at all in the last two years. And even when I was going to work in the office, um, it honestly, it was like, I'd say fewer than 10 times out of a month that I would wear makeup to work. I love the idea of makeup. I love watching people on YouTube put on makeup. I just, for some reason, I cannot, I guess I'm just like super simple when it comes to makeup. I just can't, um, you know, do the whole glam look when I'm at work. I'm more into like natural, like one and done type of product. And so um, I actually 
used to have like a large collection of makeup and I I think it was like maybe three years ago or four years ago no maybe even before that maybe like before I moved to Seattle so that's like five years ago I um I went through my collection and I got rid of a lot of things and now I only have like three palettes um but sometimes you know when you're like watching a youtuber and they like talk about this like amazing palette you're just you kind of want to get it too but then um sometimes I had to like you know talk myself out of buying that palette because it's like okay do you really even need another like natural natural or like brown uh theme type of palette so um yeah I think I could do another purge this coming year um I really want to minimalize like or minimalize is that even a word um like just minimize what I have my skincare is like good to go I use a you know a facial wash a toner um vitamin a serum um rose oil or a moisturizer at night and then i'm like good to go and then in the morning i just wash my face i use vitamin c sunscreen and moisturizer and so the, the skincare um line i think i got it down and so i'm gonna try to look through my um my i guess just what i have right now and and get rid of the things that i don't need um yeah i'm kind of getting into this i guess at this age um i already know what i want i know what works for me and so why change that if things are working out um yeah, I think I will do that when I take some time off in the next two weeks. And then possibly also maybe doing kind of like a winter purge or winter cleaning. Spring cleaning, you know, they say, but I know it's not spring yet. So I'll do like a winter um, cleanup because I feel like... I mean, our bathroom is not that big, but it's also not that small, but I don't know. I feel like it's cluttered and it's it makes me anxious thinking about what I have and the things that I'm just like hiding underneath the um, bathroom sink, like the cabinets and not using it. And it's like just taking up space. So anyways, that was a rant <laughs> and um, heading back home now I'm driving so I'll talk to you later hello everyone it is Wednesday December 23rd I am heading to go to a thrift store so I thought I'd take you guys along with me um, I just dropped off the boys to the um, the range they're gonna hit some balls and then I'm gonna go pick them up I think they said it should take them about an hour so it gives me time to um, go around and um, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go to Goodwill and check out the thrift um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this but I got the leather jacket and it's just way too big for me i mean i tried to do the whole oversized thing but it's just way too big um it is extra large and i just thought that i could pull off um the oversize on this um jacket but um it just it just swallows me up it doesn't look good so i put it up in my depop and now i'm gonna go see if I'm lucky enough to find a leather jacket that suits my needs. So yeah, I'll see you in a little bit.
Okay, I got this one just to try it out. Um, it looks kind of like turning out to be more like mustard color on camera, but I don't know, I kind of like it. It is 100% wooden, so it'd be nice for like summer. I don't know, I feel like it's a nice like vintage linen jacket. I just, I'm just not really much of a blazer person um, or this type of jacket person. It's $12.99 too. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't know if I should get it or not. It is a great fit. It fits perfectly. Okay, well, I'll probably grab, grab it and then think about it to see if I'm going to keep it or not. Hello.